Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video. The football season is fast approaching, the fixtures are just literally just over a week away as I'm recording this. But anyway guys, let's get straight down to this video. So guys, you know what to do, give us a little big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. Right, as you already know, it's my early Premier League predictions and these are my bottom three. In 20th, I went with Fulham. Now, I went with Fulham because we'll be talking about this bounce between Norwich and Fulham. One season it's Fulham, next it's, you know, uh, Norwich. Mitch Fish, 40 odd goals I believe we got in the Championship. Will he be able to replicate that or either do better? I think Fulham may need a backup striker for Mitch Fridge. And obviously this won't be my final Premier League table anyway that we're going to review. But uh, future in May, that table will be coming up closer to uh, time towards kickoff of the Premier League season. 19th I went with Leagues. Leagues for me just stayed up by the scrap of their teeth in last season. If you want to call it that now. But on the other side of that. They did struggle still under their new manager. And obviously I've got a chance for Red Oaks as everybody else. As I said, this is not my final Premier League prediction table. This will not be reviewed the one in May. In 18th, I went for Everton. Yet again, another team that was scraped, uh, scraped up by the scrape of their teeth in last season. Frank Lampard done a terrific job at Everton. Would he be able to do it? I think they need a lot of strength, especially the likes if they lose Dominic Calvin Louis in the, you know the current window. It's gonna be very hard to keep hold of him, I do believe. At Everton with the likes of interest. I think I think even Arsenal interested in him as well. So I went with that bottom three as my early Premier League predictions. Now we go from seventeenth till tenth, I believe. So seventeenth I went with Nottingham Forest. Now, I can see a lot of you saying about, you know, maybe I should put Nottingham Forest in the relegation zone in this early stage. The reason I didn't, I still believe they got a strong enough squad just about to stay in the Premier League. They do maybe need a, maybe that extra striker or, you know, that extra defender, but I do believe the way Nottingham Forest squad is now, they'd be able to stop in the Premier League. Yeah, again, you may all have, you know, different um, opinions and put it down in the comments below if you do. In 16th, I went with Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth did come back up to the uh, Premier League after two seasons, I believe, in the Championship. Scott Parker did a terrific job at Vitality Stadium, I believe it's called now. It's changed names quite a few times. But, yeah, again, I do believe that Bournemouth will uh, stay up at this early stage as i said this is not the one that my final one my final one probably be just to give you a rough idea when it probably be probably be two days before the season starts it'd be in that week anyway so keep an eye out for that one in 15th i went with southampton bournemouth southampton a bit of a derby uh now i did go down to southampton a few times last season and to be honest that would be a game I would like to go and watch, both at St Mary's and the Vitality Stadium. I might have to try and book them games, I'll see what I can do. But it's going to be a very interesting battle between these two. I don't believe Southampton are that strong either really, but you know, I do believe they're strong. When I went to their games, I think a lot of teams last season did have a two way of playing and Southampton, I think it begun to show you know, the last few months about, you know, the way Southampton were playing. And they finished, I believe, in 14th last season as well. So it's not too far from where they finished the previous season. 14th, I went Brentford. Now, Brentford did have a brilliant season. First ever season in the Premier League. I believe they finished in 13th. But yet again, they got a second season. Everyone calls it second season syndrome. Will they survive it? At this current stage, I believe they will. Um, you know, strength and don't hurt anyone. So, but I do believe Brentford at this current situation will survive. In 13th, I went with Crystal Palace. Now, Palace with me did okay. You know, battle between Palace and Brighton. 
Uh, and there is a big conversation on twi Twitter and that it does flow around that both clubs are fighting for the top 10. Uh, Brighton did finish in the top 10, finished ninth, Not too far away from Europe, but, you know, one of these things that could possibly be. Um, but Palace did, did finish quite well. I believe they will finish maybe a bit higher. Maybe just need a bit more strengthening. As I said, there's a whole window to come yet. 12th, I went with Leicester at this current stage. Leicester were very lucky for me. I know, you know, if you go back to my video where I reviewed my uh, current pre my Premier League table from last season, they were quite lucky to finish where they finished. Uh, and I did finish them quite highly. I think I put them in fourth. Um, but yeah, that is one of the things I believe they will finish in this current situation in 12th. In 11th, I went with Aston Villa. Now, I had a bit of a toss between Villa and Wolverhampton. Villa maybe do need a bit more strengthening. Uh, but at this current situation, I'll stick them in 11th and be quite happy, probably, if I was a Villa fan. If you're a Villa fan, where were you happy to finish next season? In 10th, I went with Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton, yet again, did finish quite low. You know, outside of the Europe, change of managers, I believe they changed their manager about three times last season. Don't quote me on that one, I'm not too sure. But it's one of these things where you're going to have to, you know, maybe get the odd plough in to help. And it's all the situation around uh, Ruta Neves, will he be a Wolverhampton player for next season? We're going to have to wait and see. Now we're going to jump up from ninth to fifth. Here is my ninth to fifth. Now, I believe one of, the, one of these teams will be moved. But that won't come up until my actual Premier League position table comes up, as I said, later in the year. Ninth, uh, ninth yet, I went with Man United. Now, no matter whether the new Man United manager manages to get the players that you know, he wants to get in. He's got to take back control of that dressing room. To me, with United, it's not the matter of fact of who are getting in. It's the fact the way that that dressing room is being run. Um, but I think Man United, at this current situation, finishing ninth, they got a very, very interesting pre-season ahead. Uh, one I'll be keeping a very close eye on throughout the summer. In eighth, I went with Newcastle. Now, Newcastle fans, I want your opinions on this because I did put you quite high, and I know some of you may be, be happy with, you know, 11th, 12th, but I do believe Newcastle have got that expertise. They've got the money behind them to go and finish high. Will they do it? I believe Newcastle, if you think about the time Eddie Howard came in, the time the takeover came in, that one that I had, if that's the start of the season, they might finish, uh, well, I'll probably guarantee you, they will finish the previous season higher up. Um, but yeah, I'll put you in eighth for now. Very good spot, I think, it would be for you guys to finish in eighth. Just outside of European places. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what business you guys will do throughout this summer. But let's see what happens with you guys. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting summer. In 7th, I went with my club, I went with Brighton, just finishing outside of Europe last season. Uh, I did put Brighton quite high, and I can see Toby Sanyo you only put them there because you're a Brighton fan, and it's where I'm from, and all this kind of stuff. But I put them there purely because, as a matter of fact, we had that missing striker. That's all we are away. With our current squad, that star striker away from finishing in Europe. I could be a bit expectatious or a bit over the top, but this is my opinion. You can always put your opinions, as I say, down in the comments below. But I put Brighton in seventh, purely of the matter of fact, I believe Brighton can do it. And I can't see why not with a star striker that I think we still possibly are looking for. In sixth, I went with Arsenal. Arsenal did finish in fifth last season. They're missing that star striker as well. Uh, you know, I'll be paying close attention as the summer comes off. My football knowledge, even though my videos maybe do come a bit slower, my football 
does not come to a stop. I'll keep an eye on other clubs. I'll see what kind of business I can see going around. My Twitter is full of transfers and everything, so I am keeping as close eye as I possibly can on it. But Arsenal, to me, ain't done that star striker yet. Still got time though. In fifth, I went with West Ham. Uh, David Moyes is doing a brilliant job at West Ham. Lots of depth from Weiss. There are a few rumours going around about their star players as well, so will they be able to keep them? Let's go have to wait and see to see what actually happens with West Ham. Uh, but at this point in time, I think they've got no trouble finishing in fifth. It's going to be an interesting summer for West Ham, though. Not only for the likes of players can they bring in, but the likes of players of keeping as well, especially the likes of Declan Rice and so on. Now we go on to fourth to second. Now, fourth, I went with Spurs. I went with Spurs because, you know, it looks like their current manager is staying and everything looks to be settling in at Spurs at this present time, as I can read. Um, but can still be changed, can really still be changed with the lights of you know what's going on the lives of harry kane the expectations seem to calm down and bet on him now obviously there's still got to be expectation about their best players so i'm not why i'm just thought of it jump back to arsenal for a minute but there's a lot of interest around bert Saka, and i believe between man city and liverpool so will he be there next season we'll have to wait and see third i went with chelsea yeah yeah again i did go see chelsea I saw them twice, I believe, last season, but I was actually thinking of putting West Ham in that top four. That's the only question I've got at the minute. Because Thomas Tuchel, the car crew looks like he could be on the way out as well. It's going to be a very, very fascinating time for Chelsea this summer. No owners, you know, he's doing the brilliant. I think he's given Thomas Tuchel 200 million to spend. I believe that, anyway, please don't quote me on that. Yet yeah, again, but I believe he's got round round the figure. Would he be able to strengthen? Would he be able to get another star striker? And will Lukaku go? There's a lot of questions around that Chelsea. Second, I went with Liverpool, and also you can tell we've got in top spot now. And you know, second I went with Liverpool purely as a matter of fact. Mo Salah currently, as I'm reading and seeing. He's done a U-turn at Liverpool. He's not sure whether he wants to start Liverpool now. Whether there's any truth in that, I don't know personally. But if he does go, that's another star striker. Klopp's got to get in, or winger, I should have said. And they've got to start looking at backups for the likes of Firmino. Um, I'm not saying Firmino's going anywhere. I'm just saying they need to start preparing players coming through. I know Jota's doing a good job at Liverpool as well, but his time, you know, we're all, all on the same sort of time. 20, I believe most of them are in their mid-20s. James Milner's done a year contract at Liverpool as well, but it still needs strengthening. In first, at this current time, I went with City. Now we've all got the World Cup coming up, and this is where the Premier League table could look pretty mashed up. The time my actual Premier League table, uh, prediction table comes. I'm going to think a lot about that World Cup, but there's been any time I've stuck City up there. And that's only because I have fact, because at this present time, no one's really done any business. I know a few clubs done a bit of business, but the few, the big lot of business that all clubs need to do has not yet really happened. So I'll stuck Man City up there for the time being. But as I said, the time my final uh, Premier League prediction table comes, you may be surprised the way I switch some of these clubs around because this will not be my final Premier League table. I can tell you that now for a matter of fact. The only way you're going to find out is by waiting later in the year. I believe it kicks off the first round, the first week of August. So it would be between probably the, the 1st of August and I believe it kicks off on the 6th and the 5th. So it would be between them my Premier League prediction table will come. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.